The president's speech tonight is the big story at the White House. So let's go straight to Chuck Todd, NBC News Chief White House Correspondent and Political Director. Chuck, well, the stakes could not be higher. This is the restart. But right. so what we've heard now is that Orrin Hatch sent a letter to the president saying, let's cut this back, let's streamline it, let's agree on the historic opportunities to push for areas of agreement. That's basically saying kick the ball down the road. They're not going to go for that. They're not. I mean, I know that the re Republicans have been trying to do, yesterday Mitch McConnell went on the Senate floor, called for, hey, let's just start this entire process over, uh, and obviously that would slow things down. That isn't where the White House is on that. The White House's mindset is, look, they're pretty close to getting a deal done with one Republican that they care about at this point, and that's Olympia Snow, uh, the senior senator from Maine. You know, maybe that'll bring along Susan Collins, but more importantly, what that does is you get, you know, you get get Olympia Snow, then you'll get Ben Nelson, the, the conservative Democrat, and a Mary Landrew, and a Blanche Lincoln. She gives enough cover uh, for those folks at this point to get what they want, because what she's calling for, she's, she's a potential a person that's okay with a trigger for a public option, which of course sounds like with all of the House Democratic leadership, if you read between the lines, they'll accept. Well, let's talk about waiting for Max Baucus, with apologies to Samuel Beckett. Uh, how yeah. long are they going to wait for Max Baucus? Let's watch what he said earlier today. The bottom line is he's missing a self-imposed deadline and a White House deadline. Let's watch. Right. Each day goes by and talking to senators, um, private statements and public statements and some statements over the side of the, you know, the Capitol. It's just more and more in my view that I could be wrong, uh, but it's my on my belief that the public option cannot. Yeah. What did you hear? What did you hear the Republicans? We've got to get going. They gave you suggestions. Can you give a flavor of some of the things? Well, you know, it's very interesting. The questions. Chuck Todd, uh, basically he has agreed on a couple of principles. We're talking about co-ops, not the public option as defined by Nancy Pelosi. But they're talking about not having a draft until next week and hearings the week after. This yeah. is not, they're passing them by. He is. I mean, it, look, he's not irrelevant to the process, uh, no matter what happens, because he's chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. And at the end of the day, the Senate Finance Committee has jurisdiction over whatever legislation ends up getting uh, passed by the entire United States Senate. But he's no longer playing point. He, gave, you know, when he came out with his blueprint yesterday, I had people at the White House say, "Well, I saw this in June." And they're like, where, where, you know, if this is it, then why didn't he come out sooner? A lot of Capitol Hill watchers saying, hey, had he come out with this as the blueprint in June, forced a Grassley or an Ensley to sign, sign off on it, you might have had a bipartisan thing to agree to. Clearly, after the month of August, Grassley and Enzi are no uh, on this front, no to this blueprint, but they were sitting out there potentially waiting. So I think how he managed the politics of this uh, has made him less relevant to this process. He is still relevant because he is uh, uh, an important committee chair, but he is now not the guy playing point. The president of the United States is playing point. He's drafting, frankly, the legislation with what he says tonight. All right, Chuck Todd, and it's not uh, without notice that at the briefing yesterday, Robert Gibbs said that he read those talking points uh, from K Street that the lobbyists had at first, and you called him out on that as well. So the White House was not pleased with the way Max Baucus has handled this, at least so far. Chuck Todd at the White House. You Thank you. We have a basket. Chuck is out. I'm not a crook.